Symbiotic association Symbiotic association occurs in plants that harbor nitrogen, fixing bacteria within their tissues. The best studied example is the association between legumes and bacteria. Each of these is able to survive independently, but living together is clearly beneficial to both. Only if they are together can nitrogen fixation take place. A symbiotic relationship in which both partners benefit is called mutualism. Let us understand the symbiotic association with the help of the leguminous plants. You can view the cross-section of the leguminous plants. Rhizobia are gram-negative bacilli that live freely in the soil. They cannot fix atmospheric nitrogen until they have invaded the roots of the appropriate legume. Legume roots secrets into the soil a substance that attracts rhizobia. The bacteria enter an epithelial cell of the root. A small tube called an infection thread is formed in the root hair and the thread grows into the cortex of the root. This infection thread is constructed by the root cells, not the bacteria, and is formed only in response to the infection. The bacteria undergo division and move within the thread as it penetrates. When the tip of an infection thread enters the cortex, it bursts releasing the bacteria into the cytoplasm. Once the thread ruptures, rhizobia are engulfed into endosomes within the cytoplasm. Then the cell begins to divide rapidly forming a nodule. The rhizobia also go through a period of rapid multiplication within the nodule cells. Then the cells enlarge and develop into nitrogen fixing bacterioles within the vacuoles. Only now does nitrogen fixation begin.